This video is going to show you an approach that will allow you to take your work instruction design and incorporate it into Timer Pro very easily. It's using a little trick that we found useful with a number of clients here. So here you have imaginary uh, work instruction format. You can put anything you want at the top in any number of rows, put anything you want in the left hand column, any number of columns. And here you've got your information you're interested in putting into your work instructions. Now this is very common too. We see a lot of people using an older format. XLS. This is uh, Excel 2000 and Excel 2003 format. Uh, 2007, 10 and 13 use XLSM but the same concept applies whether you're using XLS or XLSM here. So I've got a design here that I want to incorporate into Timer Pro. So I've already saved this. I'm just going to close out of this and I'm going to go back over to my Timer Pro here. So what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to do a file. We're going to go to our options we're going to go to our settings and we're going to do our work instruction configuration. We're going to add a new one here. So click on the add and just as described in the other videos here, you give it a name, we'll call it demo one. And this is going to be my sample work instructions. Now we do recommend that you probably bring up the default that we give you here. This is the WI instructions config.xlm. This is the one that would be delivered with the product. So you can just leave that the way it is and then I click on the OK. Change it, spell this correctly here first. And then I click on the OK here. And it comes up with our formats here. Now obviously this is more typical to what you'll have in your work instruction format. A number of fields, a number of certain formats, certain icons and so forth you want to preserve. So they will already be in your existing format. So what we do is we open up our default and, and then from here we actually open up the format that you're interested in. So I go here, go to my open and I put mine in our templates area here and I can do date modified and it's going to be this, the one here, work instruction outline, I've called it here. So now I have my work instruction outline and I also have my demo one here. So what we want to do is we want to get this design, remember you can have anything on here, into this template here. You can't just co copy and paste it. Many times Excel won't let you do that because of a technical reason called instances. In other words, an XLS sheet is not going to be able to see an XLSM sheet, so you can't just do a copy and paste over here. So what we suggest you do is come down here, you hit the right mouse button here, and then you say move or copy, move or copy. And then you're going to click on here and you'll find your demo one is here, the one that you're working on, whatever name you gave it to instructions config. So we select that one. I select the template here. It's going to go before that. I say create a copy. I click on the OK and instantly that is in the same template that we now have here. You can see it's called demo one. There's my sheet one. There's my template. So we cannot just leave it this way. So what we have to do is delete the current template and then we have to go to our, our sheet, whatever we call it here. We have to rename it and that has to be called template here. Sure and spell it correct, obviously. And that is what we're looking for here. So you can have any number of supporting sheets, but the one here has to be template here. This saves you having to redesign all of your worksheet in the new template. You can, you can just copy it from your original source and have it available to you right in here. Now, once you have it in here, we have to add the additional data. So we look uh, for the cell here. I've got my columns. I double click. And that brings up my pop-up with all the different options I have here. So for instance, I want my description. I say use. I want my value added time, so I can click on exit here, I can move over to the value added time, double click here, and I want my value added. Notice you get value added time, non-value added, required non-value, you can break it up here separately if you want here. Say I want to use that. Now I want to do my video, which is my um, video link, which is here, video link, and I've got my time, and I've got my ergonomics, so I want to have an ergonomic coding in here. And then I've got my part number and I want my part description here. You could also add any of these other fields here. That's all I have here in my format and then I click on the save. Now this is very important of course to save it because this actually creates the supporting complementary file to the design here. I click on the save and then I just close out of this. And if we now go to, if I can close, I can close this sheet altogether. And if we now go to our folder here, Applied Computer Services, Templates, and we sort it by date modified. You'll see I've now got my demo one instructions config.xls, 
in my demo one instructions.cfg this is a supporting file and you can see if you open this up what it's actually doing here it's actually got the pointers to the row and the place where we've actually used the different uh, uh, values here my data description starts in row 12 column 5 data val value added row 12 column 11 Right, and so forth. So you have that information right there. So you don't have to know anything about that. That's just supporting data. These are the two files that work together here. So that when I come back in here, I click on the OK and I back out. If I bring one up now, I use a recent study. Let's say I want to use uh, this one right here. And I go to my summary and I go to my work instructions. You'll find in your list here, the sample work instruction right here, this guy right here. Click on it, browse here. It's going to call it WI1 for work instruction 1 and click on the open, click on the OK and it will use that new format and start dumping everything in here. So you can see it filling in all the information here. So what we've shown you here, of course, is a simple way to take your own work instruction design and incorporate it into Timer Pro very easily.